Hello and welcome back to the Movie Memo Recaps. Today we are going to recap a 2011 movie named Colombiana by Zoe Saldana. Keep up for the spoilers ahead. The movie begins in Bogota, Colombia with Fabio talking to his boss named Don Luis a drug cartel about his quitting and retiring from work and hands him all the bookkeeping and hug each other before Fabio leaves. Don Luis motions his right man named Marco to kill Fabio as Fabio is also disappointed because he thought Don Luis would be angry and now knows they are going to come after his family. He now has one hour to leave and runs back to his home leaving some guards outside. He tells his wife to pack as his daughter named Catalia says she packed already. He hands a microchip to his daughter and inform her that in case anything happens she should take it to the address on the paper Oswell as giving her his memorable necklace. Shortly Don Luis's men arrive as Fabio want to run away with family but it seems late. He bids farewell to Catalia as his guards get shot but Fabio is inside preparing with his wife. Catalia is sitting in the room as bullets are being heard downstairs and shortly Don Luis's men led by Marco come in meaning her parents are dead. Marco sits down to talk to Catalia who she tells that he was a friend of her father's as he asked her of the chip Fabio had. Catalia just stares at him and after grab a knife to stab him in the hand telling him she will kill Don Luis and run out through the window. She moves to a ledge and swallow the microchip as she runs for survival, but they won't let her go that easily as they chase her tirelessly. She runs through the suburbs as she knows the place very well, but the gangsters are trying all means to get her off well. Despite having parkour runners with men on motorcycles and cars, she eludes them by escaping into a sewer. She gets out through a manhole cover and moves to the American embassy where she's asked for what she got. She vomits and get the microchip which they realize has information on all illegal activities of Don Luis. The agent records her in an interview and learn that her father is dead and she informs her that the chip is her passport. She gets sent to America and in exchange for the microchip they give her papers for American citizenship and welcome her to America. As one CIA agent is escorting her she asks to use the washroom but instead escape through the window to move to a bus station. She gets a ticket to Chicago with the address her dad gave her and moves on to the next bus as she reads a Xena magazine. She reaches another suburb where she give a man her address with. Emilio inside punishing one man. Emilio is called that he has a visitor, but he hesitates not until when they tell him it's Catalia. Emilio is her uncle and comes out to comfort her after the death of her parents. In the morning she's up and moves to breakfast where she finds her grandmother who takes her to the table. She asks about the room where she slept and Emilio tells her it was for his son who is now dead but he revenged on all the killers. He asks her what she wants to be and she says she wants to be a killer and ask him to help her which he agrees. Later on he bribes at school to get for her admission since it's midterm and she gets accepted. Catalia is not happy about this school as she wants to be a killer but Emilio pulls out a revolver to shoot a car and tell her that he can't just teach her to be a killer without knowledge because she would be dead in five years. He gives her the option to choose for school first or being a killer and she chooses school. Fifteen years later, on present day two cops are sitting in their car having a conversation but they suddenly get smashed into by another vehicle. A drunk woman moves out babbling and they arrest her but on the necklace she has she is Catalia now grown up. They take her to police where they don't have any information on her and she gets charged with DUI and destruction of police property and thrown to a cell. That night U.S. Marshals arrive with a prisoner named General Lizo who is a gangster and drag him into a cell. Catalia is in her cell sleeping but on realizing the guard is gone she wakes up to set up herself and unlock her cell. She changes the camera direction as she gets a spoon and disposable cup with water and head to the electrical room. She rigs the cup and the spoon and set time before moving to the air duct. The water is dropping on the spoon as she moves on and later cause a spark on the electricity to stop the fan where she wanted to pass. One officer is sent to check the ventilation system, but by the time he put the switch on Catalia already gone and moved to the men's changing room, the officer guarding the prisoner is out of offer and moved to the washroom first where Catalia knocks him out. She drags his body in front of the camera and they reopen. She takes his gun and moves to the cell with General Lizo who he wakes up and asks to remove his shirt and shoot him dead. 
The marshals have heard the bullets, and on reaching the scene, they finding the waking guard with a gun in his hands, Catalia framed him as she is running to escape from the officers who are now searching everywhere for the assassin. She moves to the roof where she hides and later moves back to the air duct where she passes to move back to her cell and pretend sleeping by the time the officers reach her cell. They find her there and have no clue on what has happened. Agent Ross of FBI has reached and taken to the body of General Lizo, who he sees with a marker that is related to other 22 other murders he was investigating about in the past four years. Catalia is released the following day after taking her fingerprints as Agent Ross reaches the police station to initiate a lockdown though Catalia is already out. She pulls at her hand a fake latex skin that replicated another person's fingerprints. Agent Ross is at the crime scene figuring out the case and asked for papers of everyone that was at the police in the last 24 hours. Catalia moves somewhere to a locker and change her clothes and hair before moving out to call Emilio who she informs that everything went well. Agent Ross assumes that the flower mark left on the last 23 murders might be a message to someone and decide they will publish the killings in the newspapers. CIA agent named Richard moves to New Orleans where he meets Don Luis and show him the newspapers about the 23 killings. Don Luis was given witness protection in exchange for information, and he tells Marco to handle the situation. Catalia moves back home to put on music and start dancing before she moves to take a shower and set her gun ready. Agent Ross has assembled a team to help him in his case and show them the past victims and confirm that one of the people who were in the prison conducted the murder though he thinks he is a man. Danny, who is Catalia's boyfriend, is back home as she was already waiting for him. They have sex and early in the morning she leaves immediately as Emilio has also reached the laundry room where he hands Catalia her next assignment and later show her the newspaper of her killings blaming for such choices that he terms stupid. He reminds her he promised to look after her but she insists she will go on with this and he tells her she's being a dark killer as she is not giving up her choices not until when she gets Don Luis. Agent Ross has now realized that the flower on the dead bodies is called Catalia and mostly grown in Colombia, but he can't access much about it due to the CIA firewall. Catalia is now to a place where she trains her dogs and get weapons from Pepe and a fake Mexican passport. In this scene, we move to a mansion belonging to a hedge manager surrounded by stunning women. One woman says that the sharks are ignoring her and he tells her that just one drop of blood and they eat her up as their best friend. He moves with the women and asks for extra security as he goes to have fun. The security has arrived as well as Catalia who swims through the aquarium and push up a glass cover to get her gun and a silencer. The hedge manager wakes up shockingly and realizes Catalia wrote on him thief and the flower. He gets scared as he moves out but all his guards are dead and he picks some pistols as he moves ahead towards the aquarium where he finds a flower. Catalia makes her presence noticed and on turning he wants to shoot but the pistols are empty and Catalia shoots him in the legs. He pleads not to be killed, but she shoots him in the chest and the sharks finish him off. Agent Ross calls CIA agent Richard to inquire about the tag killer who is related to the flower, but Richard ignores him and calls Marco to handle the situation. Marco and the team are in USA looking for Catalia and they promise to question every Colombian they meet. Catalia moves to Danny's place who left her a note that he is out and tell her to rest and feel at home, which she does by sleeping and hugging his shirt. Agent Ross is still checking for Catalia in the database, but can't find anything. Danny is back and Catalia is happy to see him, but she tries to kiss him. He stops her as he wants both of them to get to know more about each other. Danny presses her for more information, but she is reluctant and doesn't open up much on him before they start making love. In the morning, Danny prepares breakfast and take a quick photo of her, but she rushes out because she is already late for a meeting with Emilio. She meets him in a library, but he is not happy as eight Colombian people have been killed with one being a friend to Emilio. He tells her that he has retired her now because she is bringing more danger towards the family. He tells her how hard it was after he lost his son and now what matters is family and leave after handing her a family photo. Danny is a coffee shop with a buddy who he tells about his girlfriend and how much he loves her. The buddy asks for a photo which Danny shows to him, but suddenly move out for a while to attend to his car being ticketed. His buddy calls his sister-in-law who he sends the photo to check on it so that Danny falls in love with someone legit and won't be hurt. 
Agent Ross is at his office when it gets pinged with Catalia's photo and traces the signal of the source in the database. Catalia has come to church to meet her grandmother who is happy to see her again but they are being followed by Marco. The FBI reached the source of the photo and Ross makes a match identity on the photo and footage from the prison and confirm Catalia is the assassin he's been looking for. Catalia is now home with thoughts and call Danny but his phone is tapped as she tells him how she feels about her but the FBI are now heading out for her. Danny tells her that he took her photo which shocks her to check her perimeters and SWAT is already out approaching. She sets herself for the escape as Agent Ross has reached Oswell. She moves out as SWAT is also heading up, but she takes the stairs to head down. She moves through one apartment and moves to the air duct as SWAT is also approaching her apartment planting a bomb on the door to blast it. She blasts another wall as SWAT enters her room with her moving down with the elevator. SWAT are still on the search as she moves to the garage side and shoot the cameras. SWAT is looking everywhere in the garage now as she moved into the air duct and changed her clothes down the subway. She moves to Emilio's apartment where she finds everyone dead including Emilio and she screams hard. Ross comes home and Catalia is there waiting with a gun and she motions for him to sit. She reveals that she has rigged his chair with a pressure sensitive explosive so he shouldn't try anything funny. Catalia tells him she's who he has been looking for and the Catalia flower tag was assigned to call out Don Luis but it took till now to get his attention. She informs him that Don Luis has even killed her last family and she needs him by all means. Catalia tells Ross he better get the information about Don Luis from the CIA or she will kill a family member once a week until he is as hollow as she felt all those years ago. She promises his bomb will be deactivated as soon as she is as gone which it is. Ross meets CIA agent Richard who he meets and tells the situation but he doesn't seem ready to give out information on Don Luis. As Ross is leaving he receives a call from Catalia who tells her it's either Richard gives her the information or he dies but Richard is confident of his reinforced glass but when Catalia shoots and break through the glass Richard gets scared and give out the address instantly. Catalia is now preparing guns and sees her dogs before grabbing the armor truck to head for Don Luis. One lawyer Stanley Smith moves to his office where he finds Catalia who asks for the schematics of Don Luis's mansion. Marco is preparing the team that Catalia is not easy on her attacks before Luis hears something and it's a rocket which blows the room and Luis falls down where Marco picks him up to take him into safety. The men are now getting ready bringing a getaway car but Catalia runs into them with the truck and move out to shoot everyone inside dead. Marco hides Don Luis somewhere as Catalia is now shooting the gangsters. Marco throws an explosive where they thought Catalia was and shoot their Oswell to confirm. Marco thinks she's dead, but she appears from the top to kill the gangsters unaware as they try to kill her, but fail with Catalia finishing them one by one. It's now Marco and Catalia left together to face off each other in a combat fighting that seems tense with both of them seeming equal in the fight. They fight for a while not until when Marco tries to shoot her, but she ejects the clip and reap the slide off the gun to shoot him in the neck killing him. Don Luis now moves out to get a van and run away as fast as he can but runs in a dead end because of a garbage truck. Catalia calls him on Marco's phone and Don Luis warns her that he will revenge on her and can't kill him but Catalia just orders her dogs which were in the van to eat him up which they do and now she feels relieved. Danny is being questioned by Ross but he knows little about Catalia and when Ross moves to get him coffee Catalia calls him and tell him they have 40 seconds before they trace the phone. She tells him to use it to ask three questions and he asks her name which she says Catalia. He asks if she will ever be back and she say maybe one day he should always leave his window open. Lastly he tells her I love you before Ross takes the call but Catalia only hangs up without saying anything else. Danny is released as Catalia sets herself to leave bringing the movie to the end. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.